welcome. I have avoided upgrading my BIOS for a while since later BIOS revisions seem to behave differently when adjusting voltages in the fiber menu. But I recently upgraded to the latest BIOS. The latest BIOS at the time of posting this video is BIOS revision 12.05, which released a little over two weeks ago. Since revision 9.03, there have been some microcode updates and an update to the management engine. The BIOS page also mentions improved performance. After some testing, I am able to get a better overall result on this latest BIOS. On the old BIOS, the CPU cache ratio didn't seem to work properly when overclocked, but it is working correctly in the new BIOS. Disclaimer, not every 13600K will be stable at the same values shown in this video. It's best to do your own stability testing before using an undervolt in your daily system. On the old 9.03 BIOS, at stock CPU settings, the CPU was drawing up to 187 watts, with a score of over 24,000 points in Cinebench R23. With the new 12.05 BIOS, the power consumption goes up to 213 watts, which is 14% higher than the 187 watts at default settings on the old 9.03 BIOS. Because of thermal throttling, the Cinebench R23 score is only 23,561 points, which is less than default settings on the old BIOS. The old BIOS was 2.2% faster at stock settings as a result. It seems that undervolting is required in order to get a score as high in this test as the old BIOS. After undervolting the CPU in BIOS 12.05, the power was significantly reduced while the performance increased. Undervolting the CPU while keeping stock clocks, the CPU power was reduced by over 30% in this test. This brings the power down to 146 watts in this test. Now that the CPU is not thermal throttling, the score has increased by 3%. This required a massive negative 165 to negative 180 millivolt offset in the fiber menu for the core and ring voltage values. Comparing this undervolt with the undervolt in BIOS revision 9.03, which I showed in a previous video, power is within 2%, but the voltage offset values are much different. For the new BIOS, I needed an additional negative 70 millivolt offset to get values close to the old BIOS. This shows that you need a much bigger voltage offset in the new BIOS when compared with BIOS version 9.03. Next, I'll take a look at undervolting while overclocking and comparing that to the stock 12.05 result. After some tuning, I increased every clock speed of the CPU by 300 to 400 megahertz. The P cores go from 5.1 to 5.4. The two core turbo goes from 5.1 to 5.5. The E cores increased from 3.9 to 4.3. And for the first time, I have increased the cache ratio by 300 megahertz. This was all done with a negative 95 millivolt offset for the cores and ring in the fiber menu. This brings power to 190 watts in the Cinebench R23 multi-thread test, 23 watts less than stock. This allowed me to score over 26,000 points in Cinebench R23 my highest score yet. That is around 11% higher than the score for the CPU at stock settings for BIOS revision 12.05 on my setup. Nearly 11% faster while using nearly 11% less power. Next, I'll take a look at my overclocked undervolt from both 9.03 and 12.05. Compared to the undervolt I posted in a previous video, the E cores increased by 100 megahertz and the cache ratio increased by 300 megahertz. Cache ratio overclocking was not working correctly for me in the old BIOS. Comparing these values, my performance increased by 1.4%, while the power also increased by a few percent. But again, you see that my undervolt offsets are much larger than the old BIOS, even though the power figures and clocks are similar. Is anyone else noticing the difference in voltages and powered between BIOS 9.03 and later revisions. Comparing my undervolt results versus hardware and boxed, you can see that my undervolted overclocked 13600K is faster than a Ryzen 9 7900. 
but if you overclock the R9 7900, that one becomes faster. I'd say it's pretty awesome that an i5 can be made to be nearly as fast as an R9 in this multi-threaded test. And in the single-threaded test, the overclocked and undervolted i5 is even faster. This is due to Raptor Lake's higher IPC in this test, and is further helped by my undervolts 5.5 GHz 1 to 2 core boost. In the end, I'd say the new BIOS is worth it if you want to overclock the cache ratio, as that option was not working for me correctly in the old BIOS. Previously, the cache ratio would drop as soon as the load was on the CPU. Now when the CPU is under load, it holds the cache ratio value. If you plan on running your CPU at stock settings on the latest ASRock BIOS, I definitely recommend undervolting, as the default voltages in my testing was too high, leading to thermal throttling when the CPU is in a heavy multi-core load. One thing to be aware of when updating the BIOS is that you will lose your previous BIOS settings, so it's best to write them down beforehand. When updating the BIOS, you may also need to reactivate Windows. Sometimes reactivation can be done in a few clicks, but I was required to re-enter my Windows key in order to reactivate it. One cool thing about the ASRock Z690 Steel Legend is the BIOS flashback feature. In case you don't like the new BIOS, you could flash back to the old one. But now that cache ratio overclocking is working properly, I think I will stick with the new BIOS. Thanks for watching.